This is lesson 2.3, adding and subtracting radical expressions. <clears throat> Let's get started. The strategies for simplifying polynomials can be used to simplify sums and differences of radicals. Like terms or like radicals, in a sum or difference of radicals have the same radican and the same index. Such as, say, root 2 plus 3 root 5 plus 3 root 2. In this case, we can collect the like terms of root 2 and 3 root 2 because they have the same indice of 1 and the same radical of root 2. So collecting like terms, we get 3 root 5 staying the same. And then we have plus 4 root 2. You can look at this the same way as you would with variables, such as x plus 4x equaling 5x. It is important that they have the same radican and index, though. Let's dive into some examples. Example 1, simplify. 5 root 3 minus 2 root 3. Here we can go ahead and just collect like terms, and we get 5 minus 2, leaving us with 3 root 3. Perfect. Part B, cube root 192 minus cube root 375 plus cube root of 24. We have the same index right away, but the radicands are different. So we can go ahead and simplify those radicands, so that way we can collect like terms. Cube root of 192 can be simplified to cube root of 64 times 3. Cube root of 375 can be simplified to 125 times 3. And cube root of 24 can be simplified to 8 times 3. Using our multiplication property, we can take out 64 and have it as 4 as a perfect cube root, leaving us with cube root of 3. Same with 125, 5 cube root of 3, and 8 with 2 cube root of 3. Now that we have the same index and radicand, we can collect like terms, and we're left with just cube root of 3. Let's do one more. Root 63 plus root 40 minus root 90 minus root 28. So yet again, we have the same index, but different radicands. So let's use our multiplication property to, to find similar radicands. We can simplify root 63 and to root 9 times 7. Root 40 can become root 4 times 10. And root 90, it can become root 9 times 10. And root 28 can become root... 4 times 7. I chose those because 4 and 9 are perfect squares and will factor out nicely. This simplifies to 3 root 7 plus 2 root 10 minus 3 root 10 minus 2 root 7. Now that we have similar indexes and radicands, we can collect like terms and we'll lift with root 7 minus root 10 as our final answer. Moving along. The strategies for simplifying radicals with numerical radicands can be used to simplify radicals whose radicands contain variable expressions. You may need to identify restrictions on the variable. That is important that we identify the restrictions before completing the question. All right, let's go ahead and dive into some examples here. Example two, 
Identify the values of the variables for which the radical is defined, and then simplify. So here we have root a. So for what values of a is this expression defined? a has to be greater than or equal to 0. Cannot be negative with our square root. So let's go ahead and simplify. We already have similar indexes and radicands, so now we'll just collect like terms. 4 plus 3 is 7 root a minus 10 root a, which simplifies to negative 3 root a. Let's do another one. Root 36 a squared b minus root 9 a squared b. In this case, we have our a squared and a b. Since our a is squared, a can be all real numbers. However, our b has to be greater than or equal to 0. So we need to simplify to find similar radicands in this case. Root 36 is a perfect square, so we can simplify that out to just 6 root a squared b. Same with root 9, perfect square, becomes 3 root a squared b. However, we can simplify even more here because root a squared can be simplified to absolute value of a, leaving root b. So minus 3, absolute value of a, root b. And now, we have similar indexes and radicands. We can collect like terms, leaving our final answer as 3 absolute value a root b. a being all real numbers and b having to be greater than or equal to 0. Perfect. Try one more for practice, but remember to take advantage of working through these on your own by pausing the video. All right, here we have a cube root of 27x cubed y plus 8 cube root x cubed y. So since we have a cube root here, it doesn't matter if our variables come out to negative or positive values. So we can say that x and y are both real numbers. Awesome. All right, let's go ahead and simplify here. In our first expression, our cube root of 27x cubed y can be simplified perfectly to 3 cube root x cubed y with our h cube root x cubed y staying the same. Now that we have the same index and radicands, we can collect like terms having 11 cube root x cubed y. However, since x cubed is in our radical, we can go ahead and cube root that, leaving us with 11 x cube root y as our final answer in our most simplest expression. Let's do some more complicated examples here. Example 3, simplify. Here we have 7 root x plus 2 root x plus 5 root x minus 3 root y. And it's already defined our variables of for x and y greater than or equal to 0. So we can go ahead and just simplify by collecting like terms. Here are 7 root y and our minus 3 root y are like terms, and our plus 2 root x and our plus 5 root x are like terms. So I'm going to collect those, and we get 4 root y plus 7 root x. And that is our most simplest expression there. Let's try another one. Part b. 3 root 32a to the fifth minus 2 root 45b cubed plus 5b root 125b minus 2a root 72a cubed with a and b having to be greater than or equal to 0. So in this case we do have the same index however our radicands are different so we must find similar radicands. Alright, our first radical 3 root 32a to the fifth can have a perfect square of 16a to the fourth factor out, leaving 2a. Our second radical can be minus 2 square root, and a 9b squared can be factored out, leaving us with 5b. Our next radical, plus 5b square root, can be factored out to 
25, leaving us with 5b. And lastly, minus 2a, square root, can factor out a 36a squared, leaving us with 2a. All right, so let's simplify that. We have a 3, factoring out 3 times 4a squared, leaving us with 2a, minus 2 times 3b, leaving us with five, square root 5b, plus 5b times 5, leaving us with square root 5b, minus 2a times 6a, leaving us with root 2a. Simplifying it even more, we're left with 12a squared root 2a minus 6b root 5b plus 25b root 5b minus 12a squared root 2a. Now that we have the same indexes in radicands for some, we can collect like terms. 12a squared root 2a cancels out with the other negative 12a squared root 2a, and we're left with negative 6b root 5b plus 25b root 5b, which simplifies to 19b root 5b. And that is our final answer, 19b root 5b.